The first thing to do is studying yourself, and everyone follows this path. It will not work otherwise. Until you understand that your consciousness actually plays evil tricks on you and shows you much of what you considered to be real, but what is actually not, well, it's just a fight for your attention. Until you realize this, you won't understand more. What is this world? It's just an illusion. It's the shadows of distorting mirrors of a septum. There is a certain power that generates everything. It all becomes distorted and eventually turns into a wave. This wave becomes matter. And it turns out that we are all an illusion. But you and I feel each other. Ourselves, our hands, the table and everything else. For us, this is important. Yet who feels? How does he feel? Why does he feel? And what is behind this? The thing is that there is something different. That which created all matter and which is life itself. After all, if we remove what is called the Holy Spirit or God's manifestation, everything will disappear. You see? Thanks to this light inside of a septum, its mirrors reflect and create an illusion. They actually reflect the inner light. They create matter. If we take a look at what matter really is, matter is an illusion. But the denser this illusion is, the more material it becomes. And matter perceives matter as matter. Just note, even a dream. Let's take a simple thing, the work of mind. In a dream, we feel everything as real. There is no difference to us between here and there. In rare cases, we realize that it's a dream. But apart from that, it is all real. Again, from the perspective of an observer or a viewer, we see this theater of actions. For us, solid is solid, material is material, we smell and taste, life passes, absolutely realistically for us. The same illusion is here. How is it different? Well, I would say it differs in its longer duration. And it also differs radically by the fact that in this illusion, we have an opportunity to gain life. Joy may be different. There may be joy from consciousness, from acquisition of something, but it is fleeting. That's why the joy of unity with the spiritual world through feelings doesn't run out, it doesn't cease and doesn't bore. It cannot be boring. What's the point? The point is that it is always there and every moment is new. It's an infinity of new sensations of perceptions through feelings, so to say. It's a vibrant life. It is filled with life, a life filled with life. You cannot call it otherwise. While in the material world, there is a short-term illusion. If a person, having come to this world, hasn't come out of it alive, this means he has simply burned his life away. That's why it is necessary to study one's own consciousness. But there is a little phenomenon here. When a person studies his consciousness, it gets horrified. Consciousness gets horrified. Whereas when personality realizes that it is personality, it experiences incredible happiness. Why does this happen? Because at these moments, each of them comes into contact with the one who created them.